Seniors from communities around Massachusetts are leading efforts at the State House to let more people save money on the cost of Medicare. Under the Medicare Savings Program, seniors can lower the cost of premiums and prescription drugs by as much as $5,000 a year. Our guest is one of the officials supporting the change, the Commissioner of Boston's Age Strong Commission, Emily Shea. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Emily. Thanks for having me here, Chris. I want to start with uh, one of the recent changes in this program because there has been sure. some expansion of benefits already. Sure, it's it's really exciting. So that um, as we know, people's health care costs are so expensive, and older adults actually pay a larger portion of their budget for health care than a younger person. So there's been a lot of advocacy work um, to make sure that more people are eligible for assistance paying for their health care. So the Medicare Savings Program can help people pay for up to uh, $5,400 of their health care of their health care uh, costs. The eligibility is now 165% of the federal poverty level. And I know those are those are just uh, numbers, but what that's going to mean is that 40,000 more people across Massachusetts are eligible for up to $5,400 um, of help with their health care costs. So it's huge for folks. Give me a sense of what this like in, in the person's budget because if you right. depend on Medicare, you know, Medicare A covers hospital treatment, mm -hmm. so that's free. But if you want mm -hmm. primary care and if you right. need medications, I mean, what kind of money is that over the course of a year? Yeah. So, so as I said, it's up to up to five thousand four hundred dollars. So you're right. There's there's Medicare is confusing. There's lots of different pieces of it. What this can do is help to pay for your Medicare Part B premium. Um, that's upwards of $130 a month plus. Um, it can also help to pay for a lot of the out-of-pocket costs for your Medicare. Now, uh, the, the primary care access me means mm -hmm. you get to see a doctor when you have something that's not very serious. But how important is it to you to sort of start doing that and sort of maintain a relationship? Sure. I mean, it's extremely important that people of all ages access health care. Um, people are living long, longer, they're aging stronger, and we want people to be as healthy as possible. So things like making sure you can afford your prescription drugs that you need to take and making sure that you have the money to go to doctor's appointments when you need to go are very important in terms of the well-being of people. Now, of course, what uh, some of the senior activists are doing right now at yeah. the State House, uh, they want even more expansion. So uh, sure. w what do they have in mind? What kind of, what kind of income? levels are we talking about maybe? Sure. So so right now um, what they're what they're trying to do is over the next two years is to get the eligibility for this program up to 200 percent of federal poverty level. Now it's 165 and they want to get it up to 200 percent of the federal poverty level. So it's really exciting. More people will be helped. Um, Mass Senior Action is this fantastic group of older adults that has been advocating for these changes for many years and Mayor Walsh has also been in support of these changes for many years. This is BNN News, and we're talking with Emily Shea from Boston's Age Strong Commission. Um, Emily, 200% of poverty level, some people might say, well, that isn't all that low, but, you know, we're living in the Boston area, so how would you put that in perspective? Yeah, what I would say is that, um, that uh, in order to live in the city, um, it is an expensive city to live in, and we're trying to keep the cost of things as low as possible so that because we want our older residents to stay in the city, they help to build this city. Um, so that's very important to us. So one of the things that we're trying to do is really to make sure that our older residents know what's available to them and that they're accessing all of the programs and services that we have to offer both here in the, in the city and also in the state of Massachusetts. Well, uh, knowing what's available uh, this time of year, what kind of things does that <coughs> usually mean besides sure. health care? Sure. Well, you know, a lot of times our older residents are choosing between whether pay for a prescription drug or whether to heat their homes at this time of year. So it's things like access to fuel assistance, help with food, so from food pantries, or the brown bag program, or SNAP. Um, 
It's also help uh, with, with uh, things around the home, so maybe home repairs or in-home services that you might be able to get at a discounted cost. There's lots of help available for older adults, and we can help them to access that at the City of Boston. You know, finally, uh, I want to catch up on one thing. I, I know it's not all that new, but it's certainly uh, it noteworthy. Uh, this is called the Age Strong <laughs> Boston Commission. Uh, yeah. Um, explain the name change. Sure. So the Age Strong Commission. So. Uh, so our previous name was the Commission on Affairs of the Elderly. And our constituents said, elderly, that's not us. I don't like that name. And so we actually did a survey with our residents um, and we said, which of these words described yourself? And they came back to us and they said that the word strong and the word experience described who they felt they were in the city. And I think that really paints a picture of, of our older residents. And we looked at some, re some other research around aging language and we wanted to go with something that was positive um, because so many times people view aging as negative and it really is a positive thing. We're lucky if we're aging, we're all aging. And so, um, so we came up with the Age Strong Commission and we've had a great reaction to it from our residents. You know, we hear about uh, the importance of self-image for adolescents, uh, <coughs> but what about for older people? Does, does that yeah. matter? Yeah, I mean, it matters so much. And I think so many times older adults are depicted as frail and maybe not being able to do to do things or have an impact on community. And there are people that need assistance and that assistance is there for them uh, in Massachusetts and in Boston. But our older residents are also contributing an enormous amount to our community. And we want that full picture and they want that full picture of who they are and what they contribute uh, to be told. Finally, we should mention that if people want any more information about whether it's the health program or some other yeah. services that are available, what's the best way to track that down? Sure, so we are really easy to reach at the city. You can just call 311 and get to any city department, including the Age Strong Commission. So anyone that's having trouble, that's older, that's having trouble um, making ends meet, paying all their bills, or just want some fun things to do, should give us a call at the Age Strong Commission. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Emily Shea from the Boston Age Strong Commission. In a moment, music and dance from Spain. We'll talk about an upcoming performance of the classical guitarist from Dorchester. But first, this message. I've been called many things. Little old lady. Grumpy old man. Weak. But you didn't think that, right? I'm the life of everybody. I start trends. I'm an activist. I am in my prime. I'm I'm aging. Aging. This is my Bingo Tuesday. This is my senior moment in the city of Boston. 